In this episode of Control Issues, we'll make two Arduinos talk to each other using radio waves. So in this project, I've built an Arduino to Arduino radio transmitter and receiver. And sort of the purpose of doing a project like this would be as a springboard for future projects. You could pretty easily add sensors or actuators on the device um, and utilize the additional buttons here that I'm not yet utilizing. But in this case, we're just gonna get it up and running using this thumb joystick right here. Let's take a look at the transmitter first. The transmitter consists of an Arduino Uno R3 with a gamepad shield plugged in on top. One of the key ingredients is this transmitter here, and the transmitter receiver together costs around $2, so it's a low cost option to add radio transmission between your projects. On the receiving end of things, we have an Arduino Pro Micro because I wanted to save space. Um, now it's worth noting that the Arduino Uno R3 that I've used in the transmitter here, um, I found a really cheap uh, resource to get them from and you, it would actually be cheaper to use two Arduino Unos, one on the receiving and transmitting ends, um, but I, w I went for the smaller form factor of the Pro Micro. The Pro Micro is receiving uh, a a string essentially a character array that's being sent uh, from the transmitter and all the data points that I'm sending are are being separated by the pipe character and I'm taking and splitting that into the different uh, data points and converting that to integer to figure out what numbers are actually being transmitted uh, that are basically the potentiometer value values of the X and Y axis of this joystick. So then I'm taking that and mapping it to the directional control of the motors and uh, it's speaking to this motor controller here which is a six dollar motor controller that can handle up to three amps per channel which is more than enough for these motors. These motors will actually only draw a quarter of an amp uh, per motor um, at stall. So all together, if all the motors were stalled at the same time, it would only draw one amp altogether. So this little $6 motor controller will control these motors great. So these uh, motors are actually going to be pretty fast on a 3S LiPo, so I'll have to be pretty careful on the tabletop here. As always, the instructions for this project will be on instructables.com, including the wiring diagram and the code you need to build this project yourself. Control Issues is brought to you by RobotZone, inventing the parts for your ideas. And servocity.com, the place to go to buy the parts for your projects. If you've got questions or ideas for future episodes, send an email to tech at servocity.com.